This following video is presented by Presence Consulting Group, where we commit ourselves to your project success. For more information, please visit our website at www.presencecg.com. Our topic for this tutorial is building a three-level master detail page in Iron Speed Designer, and our presenter is Iron Speed MVP Herman Chan. For questions after seeing the video, please email Herman at herman.chan at presencecg.com. Hi. Today I want to introduce one of the hidden gems in Iron Speed Designer page types, enhanced report with details below, and expand this further to do a three-level master child display. I've been working with a lot of different Iron Speed developers, and I've come to discover that most of us don't use this type enough. And this particular page type really gives you a lot of information conveniently. More than often, we want to see a lot of details on the same page about one particular subject, such as a person, a store, or a particular products, and um, you know about this associated inventory level, technical specs, vendor information, and uh, so on and so forth on the same page. To do this, we can easily have a view page with a record control on top and tabs on the bottom, and you have seen that numerous times. Um, what if user wants to easily move across the list, jumping from one product to another? We can then use this advanced page type that I'm covering this tutorial. Okay, so let's first take a look at the finished type uh, page to give everybody some perspective. In this example, I'm building an enterprise level asset management system, which IT uses to track, to track all of their equipments such as computers, cell phones, projectors, etc. For each asset family, there are different tabs to show details such as manufacturers, reseller, inventory level, and their own product description. So you can move across this list, and then your product group refreshes down below, and then you can further expand and see your product. So uh, this is the expand and collapse row mechanism that I want to show later in the tutorial. To build such a page, the first thing is to make sure all the relationships among the tables are defined properly. And now if you look at this, we have asset family. And of course, you know, there are other tables in the database. I just created a diagram to show you the three tables that we are working with in this tutorial. We have asset family as the top level parent and then product groups having an FK foreign key relationship uh, asset family ID in its own table and then a product table being a child table of parent uh, product group. So to do this, the first thing is to create an enhanced report with details below page, with uh, starting with the top level. So in our case, it's asset family. So let's go ahead and launch application wizard. And then I'm going to select asset family and just the enhance it with detail below. Click next, I have all my FK defined and just add another page. So this new page is called show asset family table one dot ASPX. That's the page that we just added. So let's see how it looks. Uh, this is my completed page. And let's see. So this is the page. So from here you can see we have SF family and it has this little icon showing you know which record you are on on the top level when you click on the next guy or 
any other guy in this list, the whole page would refresh and then you'll be able to see, okay, there are two different groups DLP projector and home theater projector under projectors. If you click on monitors, it has LED monitors and LCD monitors. Uh, this is all built in for you, uh, you know, natively generated by Iron Speed Designer. So the next step is to how do I add another level from from here to give me, you know, the third level detail. And let's jump back to the page. This is the asset family level, the top level. What we want to do is go into the product group panel. So the first thing I want to add a show and expand and collapse row level button. Drag it right here. And now I, I have that. And then besides, I want to have a table control for products specific to that product group. So I would drag this right here. It will give me the option to select whether I want to do an add table, edit table, add control, edit control type panel and in this case I want to do an edit table go next and those are just the standard uh, panel level ones you can configure so let me turn off some of those so it makes it a little cleaner save and okay all right and whether I wanted what kind of fields I want to have I don't want to have an image don't care about audit trails on this level price unit name manufacturer reseller price that's good. No search. And no filter. So we add this product table control for me. Let's build this. So if you go into this product group tab, you can see the table has already been added for me. Under each group, like mid-level servers, I, I don't have anything. Entry-level servers, I don't have anything. But then under laptop, I have all this different laptop. And then under workstations, I have this workstation. So it has added the table control for me already. And now, what I need to do is to make the expand and collapse row level button work so it, it looks a lot cleaner than what you're looking at right now. So in order to configure the expand and collapse action uh, against this product table control row, we go back to the Iron Speed Designer and come to this row and there are two attributes that we need to add in order for it to uh, recognize it. So we go to styled, it's on the row, and we need to specify the ID that it that collapse collapse and expand button is looking for. So this is product group table control alt row. And then we also need to specify it's run at server. Click OK. 
and now we can build it so go back to this page and I'm gonna refresh now as you can see all the product table are hidden by default except for the first one and if you click on this little expand collapse icon it is it is working correctly if you uh, let's go to the next page now we have laptops oh, oh I guess I only have that much under computers so let's see cell phones cell phones I have Blackberry iPhone and Motorola so you, you can see the plus and minus uh, expanding collapse button uh, work is working correctly under each product group I can see individual product under that group but when you whenever you uh, go to a different asset family the first one always expand by default how do we make it uh, cleaner and everything is hidden on the first click so what you need to do is to go back into Iron Speed Designer go to this page level highlight this control the new one that we add product group table control and change this to all rows collapsed rebuild the project refresh the page and now everything is hidden from the whenever you're jumping from one as I found me to another one it looks cleaner so this completes the tutorial for how to build three level master detail display on Iron Speed Designer. I hope you, you, you get something from this. I hope this is helpful. And uh, if you have any topics interested, feel free to send me an email. Okay. See you in the next video. Thank you.